got Wi-Fi. One of the problems we had when we were out at the Cracker Barrel, even though we're in the middle of the city, we seem to have lost Wi-Fi. So we decided to get this and hopefully that'll fix that problem. Also our van, because of the insulation, it seems to act like a giant Faraday cage. And uh, even our phones don't get Wi-Fi. So hopefully this works. We had to order another part in order to hook it up to a battery. <clears throat> we thought it was gonna come with it, but one of the things we ordered it off of Amazon instead of ordering it straight for them where they added the whole entire vehicle package. So we'll install it and see how it goes. So, five hours later, no internet. Turns out we got a defective router, so we have to return it. It's going to take like a week before they get the one that we're returning. And I assume it'll take about a week to get the other one, the new one back. Kind of sucks, but that's the deal. So, no internet, no Mophie. Sucks. That's it. Hey, so just a quick update. Um, I've been working on the Wi-Fi here. We got a, um, a Mophie network router. And um, first when we got it, it wouldn't set up at all. It's like we couldn't even connect to it. And we, we went with technical support. And they just they tried every single step that they could possibly try. And eventually they gave up and they decided that the router was defective so they were going to send us a new one so we kind of gave up for the night and i don't know later on the night i was like i just couldn't let it go so i just kept messing with it and i got it working as you can see i'm watching tv There's some more apocalypto there everything is working it's not the greatest signal it's hmm the download speed is normally between 8 and 20. Um, at least that's where we're at home, you know, where we're messing with it. Maybe when we get on the road, it'll be different. But that's about it. Um, we got Wi-Fi anywhere we go. Um, Mophie did, they did great. They, um, they tried every single step they could possibly try. And at first, they're going to charge us to... To return it like a um, what do they call it where they they just you kind of you put it like a deposit down but they they give it back when they get their router back um so we decided just to do the free route which was going to take like a month to get it so that was really why i couldn't let it go and i kept messing with it and i messed with it and got it working and today in the mail it's it uh the new router showed up which we were supposed to send the old router back and then they would send us a new router that didn't happen they were cool and they sent it to us beforehand and they sent us a return label and we're just going to send them back their um their new router unopened so that way nobody really loses anything but shipping but that's it we got Wi-Fi in our van. No matter where we go, we can watch TV and have some fun. And yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Hey guys. So one of the things that we had a problem with when we were on our little adventure, our first little trip in the van, was that at nighttime everything was fine. But once we got full sunlight during the day, which we've never had this thing out other than parked in the driveway. We've never really had it in full sunlight. At least we've never been in it when the sun was out. 
Um, one of the problems we had was we were getting like hellacious voltage spikes. Like it was going all the way up to like 20 amps and then it would trip our power inverter and then we'd lose power temporarily and then it would come back on, run for a few minutes and then it would trip again and it would just keep doing it. It would keep doing voltage spikes. It would be, go from 13 volts all the way up to 16 to 20 and then it would trip the power inverter and it would just keep doing that. So what we had for our charge controller was a Wanderer 30 amp charge controller, just a simple basic one. I don't know if that was it, um, but I was told that if I buy another model, I could set the voltage setting so that way the voltage wouldn't go past whatever I set it at. I haven't figured it out on this thing yet, but I got the the Rover 40 amp, which replaced our Wanderer 30 amp. Um, I mean, right now in the cloudy day or at night, everything works fine. I got TV, lights, nothing's flickering, nothing's beeping. My DC isn't beeping. My fan up there kept going off. And um, so right, right now everything's working fine. I don't know if anybody knows how to set the rover so that way it won't do that or if it's a thing. I was told that you can do that with it. I don't know. I can't find it. I can see how to set parameters but not the voltage cutoff point. So I don't know. Maybe it'll just do its thing on its own. But that's about it. That was one of the main issues that we had um, was our when daylight came around and the sun just hit those solar panels, it started tripping our power. So that's it. Just a little update.